inchworm. Inchworm is a uh, good exercise for getting warmed up and doing some dynamic stretching, but there's also a variation that can help build shoulder strength as well. So um, the initial version of, of the inchworm, start standing up tall, hinge forward as far as you can, try to reach your hands down toward the floor. If you can't quite reach the floor yet, then squat down a little bit so you can get your hands on the floor and walk your hands out until you are into a plank. And then you're gonna walk your feet in, keeping your legs as straight as you can. And so you're supporting your weight on your shoulders here and then keeping your legs as straight as they can, walking them in as far as you can, getting a good stretch in the back and in the low leg, in the hamstrings. And then you're gonna walk your hands back forward into a plank and repeat. And just work your way across the room. So that's great for kind of getting some core stability warming things up a little bit, getting a good stretch in the back of the legs. But if you don't have a large room to walk across doing an inchworm, there's a way you can kind of do it in place and not have to travel, and it will also get your shoulders a little bit more warm. So we'll start off the same way, hinging forward, getting your hands on the ground, walking out to a plank. But this time, instead of walking your feet forward, you're gonna push with your shoulders and walk your hands back and try to walk as far back as you can, keeping your heels down, your legs straight, and your palms flat on the floor. And then once you've reached that position, walk back out to the plank, hold for a beat, and then push yourself back in. Okay, that is the inchworm. 